Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to share with you guys one of, if not the best, iOS 8 jailbreak tweak for devices on 8.0 through 8.1.2, the latest public firmware as of recording this video. It's not often that a tweak comes along that makes us say, wow, this is why we jailbreak, but this is one of those times. It's a split screen multitasking tweak. All right, so starting off, let's get right into this video with the name of the tweak and how to obtain it. First of all, you do need to be jailbroken, so if you have yet to jailbreak your device and you're on iOS 8, then just be sure to click on my channel name down below if you're on the main page for this video. From there, you can find jailbreak tutorials for every iteration of iOS 8. And with that said, this tweak is actually not on any of the main repositories yet because the developer said that he wants to make it perfect before issuing it to Big Boss, which as many of you know is one of the default repos. It's actually the main one. Well, it's on their private private repository as of now, and I've actually followed this tweak from its inception all the way up through the current beta version right now. And I can't wait for it to go public, but seeing as it's received a plethora of updates as of late, I decided this would be the perfect time to share it with you guys. This is the first Cydia tweak I'm covering in 2015. So all you need to do to add the custom repository is just open up Cydia, go to sources down below at the bottom, tap on edit in the top right hand corner, followed by add in the top left hand corner, and add the following repository Elijah and Andrew.com forward slash repo and don't worry about having to pause this video because I will actually have a link down below in the more info that contains the repository listed there so you don't have to pause it and you don't have to try to pinpoint the exact repo again just be sure to check down below in the more info and from there all you have to do is go to all packages inside of the repo and then install reach app and once you have it installed you'll have to reboot and then from there you'll be good to go now as you may have guessed based on the name and how I actually activated it, it works via reachability. But before you freak out, it actually works on all iOS 8 based devices, so long as they're jailbroken on iOS 8, because it not only adds split screen multitasking, but it also enables reachability on all iOS 8 based devices. And if you don't have an iPhone 6 or an iPhone 6 Plus, all you need to install is Activator, just search for it inside of Cydia. And once you have it installed, you can set up a custom Activator action to actually enable reachability. If you happen to have an iPhone 5S, an iPad Air 2, or an iPad Mini 3 with the Touch ID sensor, then you will actually be able to enable reachability just as if you had an iPhone 6 or an iPhone 6 Plus by double tapping on the home button, but not actually clicking it, just double tapping on the sensor itself. But if you want to remap it or you don't actually have a device with a Touch ID sensor, then again, you can go into Activator and then you can set it up for anywhere. So just go inside of activator and then go to anywhere and then set up a custom activator action. So I'm actually going to go to multi finger, five finger pinch. And then from there, as you can see, I already have it set up to activate reachability and scrolling down here. It's kind of more toward the bottom. Don't tap on this action because it simply toggles reach app on and off. You need to scroll down even more under system actions until you get to activate reachability because that way it will actually invoke reachability as opposed to just toggling the tweak on and off. So as you can see, here we are again inside of the settings app. I'm going to go back out to reach app and I'm actually going to invoke it right now just with that five finger pinch. As you can see, I accidentally scrolled down, but it did actually activate it. And if I wanted to, I could tap on YouTube and it fills up that space up there at the top. So now let's go over the different settings for reach app now that we have it enabled and now that we know it functions on again, all iOS eight based devices, so long as you have activator installed. So at the top, we just have the option to enable it. We can actually show notifications center instead of an app, and then we can disable auto dismiss. By default, reachability only lasts for a certain period of time before it actually goes away and before it focuses on the app again. And then we can enable rotation, so you want the apps to rotate. You actually have to rotate the app in advance prior to entering or prior to toggling the reach app multi-screen display mode. And then from there, you can use the home button to close reachability. You can show the grabber on the bottom, which makes it slightly easier to actually resize and then you can show the app selector, which I have checked. And for those of you that toggle show app selector, when you actually invoke reachability, you'll notice that I now have all open applications represented by their icons. This is absolutely great because it allows you to choose which app you want up in the top, as opposed to just placing the last or the most recently used app in the top. So it kind of looks like iOS 6 multitasking pre iOS 7. It looks really great and nice. And then when you just tap on the app that you want, it fills up 
up that top pane there, and then you can also resize it. Again, if you check the show grabber on bottom section, it's a lot easier to grab, but you kind of have to grab it and then wait for a second before you can actually use it. So this is a really great tweak. I love it. It still has a ways to go before it's available inside of Big Boss, but let me just show you guys a few examples of how awesome Reach app truly is. And there are endless real world applications for this tweak. Say you're inside of Safari and you're browsing through and you find something interesting and you have notes open in the background, well then you can actually place it inside of the top pane and you can go to type your note. So let me actually activate reachability right now and let me just bring up YouTube. Now I can actually activate the keyboard or I can bring up the keyboard and I can search for whatever I want. It's fully interactable. I, that's what I love about this tweak because I can type here up at the top and I can actually go down to the bottom and type as well. So as you can see, now I can type at the bottom. If I wanted to just go to google.com, I could do that simply by typing it on the keyboard there. And now we have Google. So these panes are fully interactable. And again, you can resize it and it does a really great job at actually resizing both windows. There are a couple of glitchy things here and there, which is mostly why the developer said that he wanted to wait before pushing it out onto Big Boss. And another thing that's really great, if you have a Touch ID sensor, all you have to do is just tap it and it refocuses on the main app there. So again, really great. And let's say you had an iPad mini and you had it mounted in your car, you could actually run two nav apps simultaneously side by side and it just helps. It's really great and I can think of a number of really awesome uses for this tweak. I've been waiting for it for quite some time. It's a little bit more intensive or it's a little bit harder to run on devices with less RAM. So for instance, I have an iPhone 6 Plus here and it's a little bit harder and it's a little bit laggy in comparison to something like the iPad Air 2 which has two gigabytes of RAM, the only iOS base device that does and it's definitely a good proof of concept and I think it's something that Apple should look into implementing in future iDevice models as they start to bump up the RAM. So I know I said I was going to give you guys some real world applications. I kind of got sidetracked there but anyway let me get back to it and let me give you guys a few more before we conclude. So it actually does work with games. It's a little bit dicey and it's kind of hit and miss. It really depends but I noticed that the app that's actually open on the bottom so the main app before you invoke reachability is the one that it tends to give the most resources to. So now let's activate reachability here and bring up YouTube. And I'm going to kind of scroll it down here. If I can tap onto it, again, you kind of have to tap and then hold. As you can see, it does resize things kind of weird, but I actually can use it. Let me go ahead and try to scale it back up here. So in some instances, you wouldn't really want to use this. But like I said previously, if you have Safari open, you also have notes. That's a really great use for it. You can also do the same thing with messages or again, any app. It truly works for everything. And that's why I love it. So let's go ahead and quit out of Monument Valley there. And now let's do something kind of different. So I have Safari open here. And when I invoke reachability, I'm going to select I connect you and I'm going to rescale this here. And I can actually change the color of my light strip in the background here through Reach App. So it truly does work. And for an even more immersive experience, you can pair it with something like Video Pane. So I have a video running here in the background. I'm going to open up Safari as well as Weather up in the top. So guys, this is absolutely great. I'm truly excited for the future. I really do hope Apple implements something like this into iOS 9 or at least with the iPhone 6S or the iPhone 6S Plus. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did and you're interested in my all new iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus giveaway, just be sure to rate it up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. From there, be sure to visit my dedicated video on free app life. And if you're interested in earning paid apps, gift cards, and bigger electronic devices, just be sure to visit bit.ly forward slash get free app life or simply freeapplife.com inside of mobile Safari. After tapping download, and going through the simple enroll process, download sponsored apps for points, refer friends for even more, and redeem said points for the aforementioned prizes. So that's it for now, guys. Reach App definitely makes multitasking a better experience on iOS 8 based devices. Just be sure to test it out if you have yet to. Let me know your thoughts on it down below in the comments section. And if you guys want to be updated more often, such as when I release various videos covering things such as jailbreak and Apple Watch related topics, just be sure to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and subscribe to my channel if you have yet to by clicking on that subscribe button down below next to my channel name. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.